this particular project, the Juventus story, was very uh, kind of special for us because we are big fans from birth. And like you said, a lot of these people are not only famous, but super talents uh, around the world. So many times we had to like really keep ourselves in check when we had Alessandro Del Piero in front of us, or Andrea Pirlo, or Claudio Marchisio, Giorgio Chiellini. When you're looking at uh, somebody like Gianluigi Buffon. Parte Totti Buffon! Strepitoso! And you're asking him a question. As a filmmaker, it's okay, and you know, you'll be able to keep your wits about you. But then, sometimes, as we were working, uh, the fan would come out and really get an overwhelming feeling of like, a feeling that it was a bit surreal. Then also, going in deep into the story of the Agnelli family with a fascinating character like Gianni Agnelli, uh, that was something else because the family let us in all the way and we were spending a lot of time with uh, all the family members uh, that were related to Gianni Agnelli, of course, who would fill in a lot of those blanks of, you know, such an enigmatic person that he was. And then they would also give us some of those links between him and the team. So talking about like people like John Elkan, Andrea Agnelli, Lapo Elkan, Ginevra Elkan, just spending a lot of time with them. It was a little, you really, we really had to focus on staying professional because we're big fans. Dovevamo dimostrare che nonostante l'anno della B eravamo sempre a Juventus. Ovviamente tutti quanti volevamo battere l'Inter. Non ci credeva nessuno che potevamo vincere. The whole project is dedicated to our father who passed away and the big thing was that he never got to see Juventus play live. So he passed on this massive passion for Juventus to us and we weren't able to take, we wanted to take him to a match in Italy in Turin before he passed away in 2001 and we never got a chance. So we said look maybe another way to uh, pay him back for all this is to make this, we, want to, we call it monumental film on Juventus that tells the story that we think is the story that, that describes Juventus best and dedicate the film to him. So the you know, dedication to the father was what made us, really drove us to make, us, make this film exactly. and, and, and spend seven straight years full time working on it, ten years entirely on this project. Yeah. That was the first thing. La formazione della Juventus è Zoff, Osti, Cabrini, Furino, Brio, Scirea, Marocchino, Tardelli, Bredi, Birdis. When we show the film, our hope is that they will see a movie that tells a story about human beings who band together and, you know, fight to, uh, to, to achieve something which is greater than just a sport. Yeah, and you know, Juventus has 300 million fans worldwide. We're just super excited to see what fans outside of Italy that only know the brand and they only know the goals and they only know that stuff. We're really excited to see what they're going to think of the actual story when you peel off the layers and you go, you get into the depth of the, uh, the, the team and the Agnelli family also. Enter the family leaders of the day. This is Gianni, or the lawyer as he is also known. And this is his brother Umberto. There's a lot to say about a family that has touched so many lives, as it has since the late 1800s. But the story I'm about to tell is of their great love affair with Juventus. We launched uh, this tour with Jeep, presented by Jeep, uh, in New York a couple days ago. This event in Miami premiere is the second premiere of the tour, and we're going to continue to uh, Rio in uh, the end of uh, August, early September. From there, we're going to go to London, we're going to go to Dubai, we're going to go to Shanghai, Tokyo, and finally we're going to end in Los Angeles and Hollywood. So, as this entire tour is happening, there are releases happening all over the world. 